This was the worst decision of my life. So I was scrolling through my comments as per usual, just answering and replying to your comments. When I saw this, you should try and make a game using only particles, or you can't do that. So I'm not gonna lie, the format is old, and don't get me wrong, I love Danny, I'm definitely 100% milk gang and not orange juice gang, but still, the format is kind of old. But I like it, and I'm gonna do it anyway. So it's Saturday, and as per usual, I made a new Unity project. So I started just by messing around with particles, and ended up doing nothing that day. And no, it's not because I was doing more interesting things like playing Terraria or something. Pfft, definitely not. It's because I need to get to know my buddy, the Unity particle system. You know, I need to spend some time with him. So the next day, I decided to get some actual work done. I began by brainstorming ideas, which was very difficult. After a while though, I had an idea that you have to defend the centerpiece from enemies. Then I made a player out of particles, and ended up with this blue glowing thing. Doesn't look too great, but there's nothing else I can use to make it better. After which I decided to create some movement scripts. I first made it so that you control the player with WASD, but then soon I changed it to drag and drop. But once again, I didn't like the movement script, so I changed it to click to move. Basically the player will move wherever you click on the screen. Afterwards I made a little particle effect to illustrate where you click. Oh, I also forgot to mention I have a little enemy. I basically used the same particle system as the player, just changed the colour and some minor settings, and gave them random movement. After which, I made a spawner that will spawn them every so often. Here it is on the screen right now. Basically, I created an array of objects so that we can have a variation of enemies. They will then spawn every so often, which is calculated at random. They will also spawn at a random angle and speed and can be adjusted by the player. And also, they can spawn within the bounds of the camera or a little outside. I then slap this code into a spawner object, assign my enemies to the array, press play, and now we have those enemies you saw earlier. One more thing, they have a rigid body attached to it and a collider. And also the random movement I talked about earlier, here it is on the screen right now. This random movement and the rigid body and collider allows the player to interact with it. Therefore when the player collides with it, they bounce back a little. Next, I moved on to creating the centerpiece, which I talked about earlier. This is what the player will have to defend from those nasty enemies. Once again, I decided to duplicate the player as a base. I changed the colour to green and also changed some attributes here and there. I also made a cool circle particle thing to place over the centre to add more detail and effect. I then added two white lines to go through the middle of it. Aligned it all, and here we have it. I also created some small white particles to access some stars for the background. I mean, this game isn't set in space, but it looks cool, so I made it anyways. Here you can see the final look of the centre. I think it looks okay, not the best, but it will do the trick anyways. At this point, I realised I had to redesign the enemy movement. I needed the enemies to move towards the centrepiece, because that way it makes sense for the player to try and get them away. I also realised while recording this, the previous enemy movement script that I showed you is actually the new one and the one I'm talking about right now. So sorry about that. So this script that you can see on the screen right now will actually move the enemies towards your chosen object, in my case the centre. I also changed some minor details for the player, such as the speed. At this point I had the base idea done. It was now time to work with some collisions. I set up some basic collisions for the enemy and the centrepiece. Oh, and also the enemies. So now the enemies will be destroyed when colliding with the centerpiece itself. I also made an explosion particle, similar to the one in my scrolling shooter game. This explosion particle is created on the death of the enemy, and is also deleted when the particle animation is finished. Here is the script of that. So now we have some actual game feel in the game, but there is still no point to the game itself, as the centerpiece doesn't die, doesn't explode, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and work on that. So next came my biggest hurdle, the biggest obstacle ever. The most enormous issue. Text. Wait, you think I'm joking? Nana. Nah. I realise that I'm going to need to display lives and score and all of that stuff. But I'm only allowed to use particles. So just to make sure, I made a poll on my YouTube channel. Oh, and if you haven't already, subscribe and help your girl out. And 73% said that I'm allowed to use text. But to satisfy the 27% that said no, I won't use text and I will use the particle system to omit text. Which, by the way, I can use to make the same effect as text actually being there, but it just gives me more freaking stuff to do. Thanks. So I created two particle objects, a life particle text and a score particle text. I then created a simple system of lives decreasing whenever the enemy collides with the center, and I made sure that if lives are equal to zero, the game restarts. Pretty simple. So at this point, you were able to defend the center and actually gain points. There was also some purpose to the game, as the center could actually die. The only issue was the enemies were moving towards the center. Now you may ask, how is this an issue if this was intended? 
Well, it's because you can't actually kill the enemies. So the only way of defending the center is by pushing them away. But here comes the catch. You get to a point in the game, there are so many enemies that you can't physically defend them. Like they literally circle the center making it impossible to move. So here I had to think of an idea of how you can kill the enemies. And this was yet another hurdle for me, as I couldn't think of any good ideas. Initially I thought that every 10 seconds your player would get a little boost. Now when in possession of this boost the player was able to collide with the enemies and kill them. Pretty simple. Though this was a bit boring and I didn't really like the idea of it so I decided to scrap it. So next I was like maybe there should be some power ups that you pick up. But once again I scrapped that idea as I didn't like it. And at this point I wasn't really sure what I should do. But then with the help of my friend and YouTube I redesigned the player movement. So yes all the player movement work I did earlier was pointless. But I made it so the player has more physics to it. So you no longer click to move, instead he will move with force. Now what do I mean by that? Basically you have a little power bar that you can drag, and the further you drag it, the faster and more force will be applied to the player. You have most likely seen this method used in a lot of games. Here is an example on the screen of what I did and what it looks like, but there were still a few things to do. First of all, I had to make a simple script that if the player collides with enough force against the enemy, the enemy will explode. I also used the same explosion particle from earlier. This was very simple to achieve and it looks and feels rather good. I also made it so that if the enemy dies, the player's score is increased with a simple line of score plus plus. Now for those wondering how I did it, well, it's rather easy, and I can make a tutorial on it if you want, go ahead and vote on the poll up there. But it ended up looking pretty nice. There's a few issues with it right now where sometimes it's a bit off and it just kind of renders really weirdly. But I will fix that in the nearer future. Also, another problem that I encountered was the player can leave the map. If you use enough force, the player can genuinely just leave the map, which isn't a good thing. But I haven't fixed that because I am lazy. P.S. This is future Zyger. I did actually fix the issue with some simple screen bounds. So don't listen what the other Zyger said. But now we have this awesome movement that feels nice and is a lot better than the previous one. And I really, really like it. It's really fun to play around with, trust me. Oh, also this is Future Zyger once again. I also added post-processing. I know it's not particles, but I needed it and it makes the game look nice, okay? Don't kill me, okay? It was a wise choice. So, with all the core mechanics done, there was a few little things that I had to make. I started by making a main menu with just particles. I used particles to make this circular play button thing, which was pretty simple to make, and it ended up looking alright. Not the best, but I can't really do much better with just particles. I also attached a script to it that when it's clicked, it will basically just change scene to the game scene. Pretty simple. I also made a little background with white particles, which is very similar to the one that I used in the actual game, just it has more particles here and there, and I think it adds a cool nice effect. And the name slash title of the scene was also made with particles, that one took a little longer in all honesty. Also the game is called A Particle of Me, because my friend suggested it, and you know what, why the heck not call it that, because I'm unoriginal, I can't think of names myself, so I had to ask my friend. With that done, I exported the game and basically tried to playtest it. I got a few minor issues, so I basically just went back, fixed those bugs, and playtested it again, and again, and again, and again. Anyways, we now have this really simple game that only uses particles. And in all honesty, I'm really proud of it, but I know I can make it better. I can definitely make it 10 times better. So before I release it to all of you guys, give me a week or so, just so I can fix a few things here and there, add a little few things there and there, and yeah, I will then release it to you with the source code and everything. But in all honesty, this idea was crazy. I spent so long trying to get it done, but I'm glad it worked out. I think the biggest issue for me was getting the initial idea down, because it's easy to make a game and think of adding particles, because adding things is a lot easier than actually starting from just particles. Trust me, if you ever try this challenge, you will see what I mean, because I can easily think of a game idea and think of how I can incorporate particles, but when you're just limited to particles, it's very, very hard. Anyway, I made it happen, so I'm really happy about that. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you enjoyed the video. I will be replying to all of you guys. I love you so much, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!